Let me show you how I made this metallic, golden, wooden lantern. Coming right up. What up, y'all? The Jeff Wilson. And here today, we're going to start off with this four millimeter plywood and make that nice little light box I just showed you. As we start out, I've already created this artwork in Corel Draw, and I'm just gonna focus on the laser part of it because artwork's a whole different ball game on itself. There's tons of programs out there. I grew up messing with Corel Draw, so that's what I know how to do. And I'm not one to teach you how to use that. But first thing we're gonna do, we are gonna frame out to make sure we have plenty of room on here. Like I said, we got four millimeter plywood on here and we're gonna let it do its thing to show you how well it works. Now with this X-Tool D1 Pro, I do have air power going to this. I do have it maxed out all the way with this being a little over eighth inch plywood, four millimeter. You need to make sure you have enough air to push that through and I have the honeycomb on here as well to help in the process of that. So that way I can get a cleaner cut with less burn marks on here because it's actually able to burn through all the way through the wood without hitting another piece of wood or metal or something to bounce back up on there. Now, like I said, this job right here I'm running, it is going to take 42 minutes on there. So this is a long job. It is not something quick. And it's something to think of when you are running something like this. So keep that in mind. And if you can, you can probably already see there is smoke building up in here, being a well ventilated area. Now with this 40 watt, and you already know, it had no issues cutting this out. This is some high detailed stuff. I do get to have a lot of fun and get all this stuff out without breaking all that small detail. But as far as the cuts, nice and clean. Pain in the butt to get out. But let me get to work, come right back. So now that we have everything cleaned up from cutting with our X-Tool D1 Pro, it's time to get some paint on there. Now with this, this was a little bit more time consuming than I did anticipate. Cause if you look at all that little detail, it was fun to get all this small stuff out. Cause a lot of it did just fall out, but not every bit of it. So I had to sit there with a small screwdriver and my jerry rig, everything knife to push whatever I couldn't get out of there. So that is something to think of when you are messing with fine detail projects like this. Now on paint, all I'm using is just some cheap aerosol white spray paint I picked up at Lowe's. Don't need to do anything too special with this. It's just gonna be a little decorative piece set inside the house that you put a little light in. And I wasn't gonna go all out on it. But aerosol works good for 90% of the little small projects for this. And especially on this plywood right here that I'm using, it actually works, stays on there real well for it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put probably one or two coats on here and see how everything looks. And make sure you are in a well ventilated area because you don't want to be around a lot of aerosol. And I do recommend wearing a mask even though I'm not wearing one right now. Well, while I was painting it, I didn't like the way the white was looking. So I went back and I did some gold. All right, now that we have everything cut out, painted, so what we gotta do, there's little grooves all cut out in this. So we gotta come through and place all these. And these do fit a little tight because I forgot to take out the how much I needed to include for the paint thickness on here. So some of these will be a little tight on getting in. So that is something to think of whenever you are making this. So put these will all go in here. Get your next piece. 
and then we'll just go up layer by layer. You gotta be real careful with these because like I said, it is an extremely tight fit and I might have to do a little sanding on some of these just to make them fit in their grooves. Let me get these sanded and I'll be right back with you. So after fighting this for a few minutes, I should have cut these little holes a little bit bigger up here just to make the wood fit in a little bit nicer, easier with the paint. Now, if it wouldn't have been painted, it would have been no issue with slide it. It would have slid right in there and I wouldn't have had to sit there and sand off the paint on part of these. Now, like I said, it does have a little door. So you put your little light or candle. I wouldn't recommend a candle to just in wood, but a fake candle or something here, anything to eliminate light. And then you can hang it. Now, you see this x tool D1 had no issues with this. All that intricate pattern, four millimeter plywood, which is heavily glued. I hate this plywood I'm, I'm getting right now, but it's all that I am able to find. So I got to use what I can get. Now, hopefully Lowe's or Home Depot, one of them stores, get the stuff back in stock that I like to use. But until then, I got to keep using this. Thank y'all y'all for watching me cut this all out on this X-Tool D1 Pro with the 40 watt head. Now, if you're wanting the plans for this where you can cut it out yourself, become a channel member and I'm gonna start giving away stuff who are all our channel members of this. Like I said, it is a small monthly fee, but it does help me out in the process. It's what helps pay for 99% of the stuff I do out here and definitely helps me out. Now, like I said, Okay, I'll start adding more and more plans as time goes on for channel members. And until next time, y'all take it easy.